Yeah, PGM 98387. It's uh, June 27th, Wednesday, approximately 12.20 in the afternoon uh, Pacific time. I'm here in uh, Spanaway, Washington, uh, Pacific Northwest. And uh, it's kind of a little bit hazy out, you know. But as you can see, I'm using the uh, solar today. And I've made some changes to the system. I've added some gauges so that I can actually monitor the amount of power that... I'm receiving from the solar and I can monitor the amount of power that's going into the batteries. Um, so there's two amp meters and there are two volt meters. One amp meter is showing the ampers that are coming off of all these racks, these three racks out here. And the other amp meter is, is showing the combined amperage from those panels and the ones on the on the roof up here, the 255 watt Siemens monocrystalline and the eight um, Sunforce amorphous panels. Um, the uh, C40 Xantrex is not currently letting power through because the batteries are fully charged. The ba I moved the voltage meter. This is the uh, battery voltage. So this is currently monitoring the uh, health of the AGM battery bank and then this voltmeter here is currently monitoring the voltage of these racks of panels out here the three the three rack sets and so I have the voltmeter um, monitoring the voltage now watch what happens when I flip the uh, breaker off it will show the uh, the voltage from the uh, panels without going through the the charge regulator, the C40. Now, if I turn that back on, see it drops. Just went back down to um, 18 volts, and then my amps are going back down. See it actually shunts the power. It actually regulates the amount of flow of the current. So they, if I now I turn that off so it's uh, there's no amps flowing from there. Now if I turn this on you can see how many amps are being let through letting f the, the currents flowing through from there. And it, it's 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 a pulse width modulation, so it's it's showing it it's showing it decrease in the amount of power that's that's going through. Because my battery voltage is is set for float at um, 13.5 volts, and then it cut off at yeah 13 volts. I think it cuts off at, or it cuts it cuts in at 13 volts. So what will happen is when I run something like, now what I've done is I've taken my um, kilowatt meter and my neighbor, he gave me an old extension cord and then I had an old extension cord and I cut it into a short piece and just uh, I'm using the, um, using that in the, um, in my sign inverter just to conveniently um, attach it. Because if you, if you try to attach the kilowatt meter on here, it, it, it takes up a lot of space, so I actually, you know, you know, kind of jerry-rigged a cord to for that to work. Right now, it's there's really nothing on. I think I might have a, a fan on in the house. So, or an, a charger, a little vampire, one of those little DC char, DC volt, uh, DC AC to DC <laughs> charger. So what I'm going to do is now this amp meter right here. Um, is now showing the combined amperage that's coming from both all of the racked panels outside and the ones on the roof. You can't see them, but there's there's eight amorphous 15 watt, and then there's two Siemens 55 watt monocrystalline up there on that roof. And those the regulators, and then there's one here on the on the ground. I should say that the Harbor Freight. So I've got 11 amorphous, and then I got the two 55 watt, and combined with these bigger racks, all um, indicating through this indicator, through the amp meter here, how much ampers are going into my batteries. So have you seen right now? It's about oh, it's between 10 and 12 amps 
that are flowing into the batteries. So, and right here it's saying that there's about oh, four or five amps flowing in from the uh, from the from the um, D, from this uh, Xantrex C40. So what I'll do is I'll turn that leaf blower on, and this runs at about 540 watts. I'll turn this on, and you'll see how many. Um, it's 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 running. It's plugged into this, which is plugged into this. So you'll see how many watts it's using. Our amps. that need proof, that need to actually see proof of the power of solar and what solar photovoltaic power is capable of doing for useful energy as long as the sun's out. I mean, if just using batteries, of course, you just deplete batteries, but the power of that sun out there, and from what I have here, you can see what I'm running, and I have, you know, that photovoltaic power is is practical. It's useful. It you can do things with it. It's it's a doable um, uh, means of providing one's own electricity. Now you know, of course, I'm paying more for my electricity than from if I just buy it from the power company. But to anybody out there that's that's interested in um, learning about solar power, it's just best to start out with a small system. Even if you just have a few cells and buy a couple cells and solder them together and get a little computer fan or a DC fan and then use that or power a little radio with it, um, then you'll start learning about it. Um, it's very interesting that I find that electricity is very much analogous to water, where water has pressure and volume. And the voltmeter is somewhat similar to measuring the amount of pressure, and the amp meter is somewhat similar to to metering how much of a flow, how much power is flowing through the wire. Um, so anyhow, let me know what you think. Leave a comment and uh, have a nice day. Bye.